Welcome to Elevate. Melsha Key is a senior manager of marketing at Gap. She has an MBA in marketing and her unique approach to putting customer experience at the center of all her decision making has made her successful in multiple industries. She'll be talking to us about managing our pie today. So welcome, Melsha. Hi, everyone. I am super excited to be here. And thank you so much, Angie. I'm I'm really excited about the topic that I'm going to share. Um, if you see me looking away, I am trying to set up my slides. So my name is Melsha and I am so excited to be talking to you today about excelling in your career by managing your pie. Pie is performance, image, and exposure. And we'll go more into this during the presentation. This is a quick outline of what we will be discussing today. I'm gonna to give you a brief introduction. We're gonna talk about some career misconceptions. We're gonna go through the different slices of the pie. You see where I did there. And you're gonna have the opportunity to get some of my information to connect with me. I am a wife and a mom. I reside in the California Bay Area. Although I do have roots on the East Coast, I am a senior marketing manager at Gap Inc. And I do have an MBA in marketing from Rutgers University, and I have 15 years of marketing experience. I was introduced to Pi from a mentor at my company. She became my mentor simply by me reaching out to her for a 15 minute chat. That turned into various times that we would meet all online. And at some time we built this trust and I just confided in her about being a little frustrated because I am rocking in my career. I am delivering results, but still no promotion. And that is when she introduced me to Pi. And she had me take a good look at it to see if I was really operating in excellence in all slices of the pie. And that is really what I wanna share with you all today. So let's talk about some career misconceptions. Performing well in a role means you will be promoted. Mm, not really. And working hard, you will get ahead. Yeah, I'm here to tell you that that can happen and you still not receive the promotion that you might be desiring. Has your hard work gone on notice or have others moved ahead and you've kind of been stuck in the same old role? Are you subscribed to the work hard and you'll go far club or how about hard work and results are rewarded with promotion. I'm here to tell you to cancel your membership to that club because it's not about how hard you have worked, although performance is a part of it. Promotion is not all about getting promoted based on performance. If owning, controlling your career is your goal, you must learn how the system works. Employees win when they understand that they have to be intentional with the choices that they make to reach the top. Let me tell you a little secret. Upward mobility happens from the top down. That means that your leaders are advocating for your promotion. So how do you get seen by them? How do they know who you are? That's exactly what we're gonna cover today. Understanding pie helps you understand why some people have success and others do not. The concept is not new. And I was surprised to learn that I thought this was some new type of theory or strategy, but it's not. I was just recently introduced, which I'm sure some of you might be recently introduced to it today. So let's get into it. Pi. We're going to first start off with performance. This is about the day-to-day -day work you manage and the quality of the results you deliver. Harvey Coleman in his book, Empowering Yourself, The Organizational Game Revealed, success is based on pie. Each piece of the pie is critical to your career growth and advancement. One thing I wanna drive home that my mentor shared with me is that the slices of the pie are not equally weighted. Wow, that was kind of mind blown. Not only that, but different stages in your career the slices kind of change in the magnitude of the focus that you should have on it. So with that being said, let's jump on in to the different types of times in your career and how each slide might be different. Early in your career, performance is 50% of the pie. 
mid-career so you're thinking like junior senior level roles all the way from like an experience or even a new manager all the way to like a senior director that's probably within the mid-career scope performance is 25 to 33 percent of the pie and the mature career performance is actually less than 25 percent of the pie so let's get into the early career Focus on learning, improve your knowledgeable about your role and your area of expertise. This is the time to study your craft, attend conferences, trainings, take additional classes. You can be the subject matter expert, but it takes intentional action of learning and growing in this stage. And don't be shy about sharing positive feedback with your, with your manager. If your business partner is just singing your praises, Tell them, hey, would you mind dropping that note for my manager? So your manager is also aware of the things that you're doing to become or to show that you're a subject matter expert. Operate with excellence. Do not give subpar work. You have to show up and show out with the work that you're doing. Make sure that your definition of excellence align with your manager's definition of excellence. Because if you two are not aligned, how are they going to advocate for your promotion and exceed expectation and continually raise the bar? Don't just do the work that you that you have to do. See how you can align with the department goals, align with the organization strategies, because that is what's going to help highlight your performance. Mid career. This is when we start to move through into management. So you might start to get a direct report. You may be leading a team. Building strong teams enables strong performance. Hear me, I'm gonna say it again. Building strong team enables strong performance. So at this level, not only are you performing at an excellent level, you are now responsible for having your team perform at an excellent level, giving them the tools that they need to be successful, mentoring, coaching, all of that comes under the umbrella of performance. Your manager's managers should at this level know who you are and be very familiar with your performance. Be proactive on being solutions oriented and keep over delivering. And at the mature stage of your career, performance is at a larger scale. You are driving strategy for the company. You're delivering on earnings. You're talking to Wall Street. You're driving and leading high performing teams. So that was all performance. Performance, once again, is very necessary for promotion or for success in your role but it is not the only indicator that you will get you will get promoted. We'll go into image. This is what other people think of you, the impression they have on you and how you are showing up, your personal brand. Do you maintain a positive attitude? Do you lead with solu solutions to issues? Or are you a person that's constantly being negative, saying, oh, this can't be done. We've never done it before. We tried that, it didn't work. That's not the image. You should be the one that's optimistic. And even if you've never done it, if you've never been able to do it before, your, your image should show that you're gonna try to see how to figure out, figure it out. So understand that image is, it matters. According to an article I read by Monica McCoy, image accounts for 30% of the reason someone is or is not successful. How others perceive you and how you make others feel, feel it matters as much as the results you deliver. People are surprised when they discover that how they see themselves is not how others view them. This misalignment can stall your career. So let me give you a true story on this. I once had a mentor tell me, hey, you need to ask for feedback and you need to make sure that how you see yourself aligns with how others see yourself. So I, I booked some time with some of my peers, some junior level employees that I worked with and also some senior level employees that I worked with. And through that feedback, I was able to identify themes and themes meaning like ways that I was showing up that I may not have intended to show up in that way. And so I took that information and then created the strategy to make sure that how I was showing up is how I was being seen. 
Now, asking for feedback, I'm not going to lie. It sometimes is very hard because it doesn't always feel so good. But it is one of the key ways to understand how you are performing, how you are showing up, how others see you. Because as I mentioned before, image, it really does matter. Personal branding, which is so key and so important in this stage, is more than what you say on LinkedIn. And it's so much more than what you put out there about yourself professionally on social media. What personal branding is, it shapes the per perception of you in the minds of others. This includes building your reputation, showcasing your strengths, effectively communicating your unique attributes, and being able to market yourself. In other words, your personal brand will speak for you when you're not in the room. So make sure that your personal branding is speaking, it's speaking and it aligns to your professional brand. So image, let's look at it at different parts of our career. Early career, 20% of the pie. This is where you try to predict what your manager and your business partners love and deliver on this. So an example is if your boss loves to see things in a bullet point format, give them summaries and high level overviews and recaps in a bullet point format. The reason is because you just don't want them to trip up on that because that's not even the meat. The meat is the recap, for example. So you want to present them information in the way that they're used to seeing it. And this, how does this align with image is because they can count on you. They, they start to look at the work and then they can look at you and say, oh, I can always count on this person to give me reliable work or they're always consistent. So you leave out all the things that can trip them up. In the mid-career, managers to new directors, be seen as a person that can manage a team and deliver results. If you don't manage a direct report, it's a great chance in your company to, to lead a cross-functional team, ask for that, or ask for an intern. That's a great way to, to start to build up your manage, management skills. And director to senior director, be seen as a thought partner and strategic thinker to your team, business partners, and senior leadership. And in, in the mature part of your career, image is critical. We notice that it's 50% of the pie. Image is critical. And at this stage in your career, people need to be able to trust you and follow your leadership. This is also a time that you can have the power of sponsorship to help shape other careers of more junior employees um, than you are at this stage. And you are a thought partner and also a strategic thinker. So take, take the different opportunities to speak at conference, TED Talks, really build that you're the professional or any other part of your personal branding that you want to come across. Image holds a lot of weight and it's not easy to change. It will affect how people relate to you and how they treat you. So make sure that you work, be intentional about your professional brand and really work on what that is for you. And finally, we're going to get into exposure. Visibility is important to the right people in the right manner at the right time. It represents the people that will get to know about your results and your image. Who knows about you and what you do? It's great to be a high performing employee, but if no one knows the work is coming from you or no one knows about you, that is an area of opportunity to work on in the exposure part of the pie. Exposure is the key to success and to get ahead. Relationship building is key. Take time to build genuine relationships. And it doesn't always have to be face-to-face. -face. I will have to say one of the benefits for me through this pandemic is the amount of people I've been able to connect with just by saying, oh, I love your career path. Can we just have 15 minutes to talk? It's been people within my organization as well as outside of my organization. So you don't just have to network internally. You have the ability to network externally. One of the mediums that I use is LinkedIn. I just recently reach someone that is probably um, two levels from where I currently am. And I was very interested in their career path. And they shared some nuggets with me. And I think another way to add value is to follow up and let people know, hey, I took your advice and this is what the results were. 
People love that. They appreciate that because they know that their investment of time was worth it. Always have the mindset of adding value. And this is how you make your mark on people. So at different points of your career exposure, early career exposure is about 30% of the pie. Mid career is about 33%. Mature career, it's about 30%. So early in your career, ask for those speaking opportunities. Put yourself out there. Grow. Lean in on your manager to help identify those opportunities for you. Join a cross-functional team. Real quick, I did that just to get to know other people, but the reach was far more than what I thought. I actually wind up um, presenting in front of a very senior leader who sent a message after I presented about the work that I did and how impressed they were. So sometimes you don't understand that reach, but join those cross-functional teams, build those relationships, join employee resource groups and professional organizations and volunteer to share learnings that you've had. Mid-career, Volunteer to do stretch assignments, work with your manager on that and work with other teams, speak at large events, always take advantage of different opportunities as it comes to those exposures. Also make sure that it feels right for where you're trying to go, but take advantage. Don't let fear stop you. Also director to senior managers that take on larger stretch assignments, join task force, speak at town hall. And then from a mature career, you're running divisions, you're running regions and developing new and improving existing markets. So you're already really out there from an exposure part, but that is 30% of the pie. So we're going to do a quick summary. Be intentional about your performance, but effort doesn't always equal impact. You want your performance to impact the business. Don't get caught just doing busy work. Ask for feedback. Once again, do not shy away from that. Give people the permission to be honest. You just don't need, oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. Dig deeper. Ask for more feedback that's really going to help your career. Look for themes and when you get this feedback and decide if it aligns with your personal brand. Understand that pie, the pie components change as you move in different roles and even as you move throughout your career and be aware of that. Network internally and externally, and you can network virtually. I will be the first to say I recently got a promotion and it was all over a remote environment. So don't think oh, just because, hey, I'm, I'm a remote employee, I can't get promoted. You can. Or if other people are back in the office and you're still working remotely because you were hired remotely, you can still, you just have to be intentional about the parts of the pie. Questions to ask yourself. How does your work align to the organization's goals and strategies? Once again, don't be a busy bee. Be intentional about your goals and how that helps your department win because then that sheds a, a wonderful light on the work that you're doing. Are you great at what you do? If you don't feel, take an honest assessment. If you don't feel like you're great at what you do, then take a course, talk to your manager, attend a conference. You have the power to change that. Image, do you have a professional brand statement? If you don't, I will recommend that you take the time to do it because you don't want anyone owning your voice and the professional brand statement is your voice and you don't want someone to own that. So be intentional about that. When was the last time you asked for feedback from your business partners? Do people enjoy working with you? That is a key. You can be the best performer, but if people don't like working with you, that's the problem. So make sure that you are a person that people want wants to work with. Exposure. Are you intentionally building your network? Is your manager's manager familiar with who you are? So these are some homework assignments. Finally, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to connect with you. And this is my personal email. I just love the whole mantra of as you climb, you also have the responsibility to lift others up as well. So um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and I believe there's also an opportunity for us to connect in rooms later on. So I will try to make myself available for that as well. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <clears throat>
Thank you, Melsha. That was excellent. Um, I you. love your slides. I'm sure we're all going to be hitting replay as soon as this session is over. Um, and thank you so much for giving this talk. And then we're going to move on to our next session now. See you on the other side.